everybody, this is Kefren. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the game War Thunder. Uh, first of all, you have two options uh, in this game. You can change the op uh, your graphic option in the config file or inside of the game. If you want to know where is the config file, you have a couple of more of options in it. Uh, the file is in the War Thunder where the game is installed. Go to config.blk and open this with like something like Notepad++ or even Notepad and you will have all the things that you need to change. Make sure that you're using proper word because sometimes they're using medium, low, they not necessarily use number like here, as you can see, cloud quality. So uh, yeah, you have more option in it. So if you have some trouble to, 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 to have your uh, uh, 60 FPS, uh, for sure you can change other stuff in it, okay? Click X, let's go back in the game. So I'm just gonna reset this. I'm going to do it like if I have a mid or low end computer. So make sure, first of all, start your graphic at medium. Click here. OK, so this one stay at 2x anti-aliasing. Make sure that you put 2x because I really don't like uh, to just remove anti-aliasing. If you want to see like nice object and stuff, you really need your anti-aliasing and use FXAA. Texture quality. This one, depending on the VRAM on your video card, if you have less than two gig, go to medium or low, or if you have more than two, just go at with I. Really important in this game is shadow quality. Remove all the shadow and you will gain a lot of FPS. So here, put minimum, uncheck the shadow over there, and just with this, you will gain eight to 10 FPS depending on your video card, okay? This one, really important. Second, uh, water reflection, this one, just remove it, okay? Just this. When you will see water, you will not have your drop FPS anymore and you will see a nice gain, five to six FPS. So this one is really good uh, to gain uh, some FPS. Uh, after that, particle density, okay? This one removes soft particle and particle density, just lower it like something like this. You can remove it if you want, but not remove it, but put it at minimum, but you can just put it over there. And again, just to remove uh, the soft particle and particle density, you will gain five to six FPS. So with all those uh, modification, technically now you will be at uh, something like 16 FPS more or even 20, depending on your computer. Uh, for sure, you can touch at the qual 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 quality, sorry, uh, in flight. This one, you will gain a couple of uh, FPS if you remove it, but you should start to benchmark with this setting. If you still have issues with it, um, with your game, you can, render it with OpenGL. Uh, on NVIDIA card, I see a lot of people who has like who g getting a boost with this. Even on my computer, I'm getting a boost, but on the, my AMD card, I didn't see any difference. And even I lost a couple of FPS. That was a little bit weird. So uh, yeah, you can change the render if you want. So uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, just test that. Uh, also, make sure your VSync is at off because you will see if you can gain more than 60 FPS. Really important over there. And uh, for sure, you can go in the config file and remove other stuff that you don't see in those options over there. Okay. So uh, if you have any questions, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, guys.